get things done. Looks like uh, we'll start since it's 105. So we lift off with Elena and her brother being like, oof, can we even do it? And feeling a little bit like intimidated about whether or not they're able to uh, accomplish the thing they want to do. So mm -hmm. um, the next paragraph will be for you. You see that whole mm -hmm. line right there. Cool. I will say this whole section was, I felt like a lot more complicated than- Yeah, some areas will just be randomly harder. <laughs> <laughs> I was curious if it came across that way to you or if it was just me. I so like... don't know which section, but I do remember there was an area that I had to read like three times to be like, oh, that's what it was saying. <laughs> it, it does happen sometimes. Anataga oji kitsuitari shina keriane orana wa futago ni ani ni hita atashi mo da dakedo to omoi nagara um, Okay. Uh, um. Hi. So first we have Anana. She's itaing. <laughs> Start with the easy parts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I, the the bottom part is Orana wa futago no ani ni ita. Orana said to her brother. Um, yes. Which was Anta ga oji oji. This is hard to say. Oji ke tsukatari shinake. Yane, which is not get about not a night right here. Is mm, she not, not about not a night? Nai. Okay. Um. So I had an anataga is you. Hi. Oji Ketsu is to become frightened. Hi. Um. Itari is if, and then yes. I um, I had a big question mark so, next to so, Shinakeria. Tari isn't really if that's just ta form plus or d tada is the if slash when you're thinking about um tadi just means like for example mm. it's a and of an inc an inclusive list so it's like yeah but for verbs and then we have sudo here so to do things like being afraid the nakiraba part is nakya but it's like just spelled a little bit different you're not kid yeah <laughs> which just means you must. So she's actually saying, as long as you don't get scared is basically what it's saying. But- um, Sorry, what, if, what was the Tari? Tari, that is, um, so you can't really translate Tari in English really. It's, do you know what, like if you had noun plus to plus a noun, mm -hmm. like ringo to apple, mm -hmm. like, ringo to melku, that would mean milk and apples. But mm -hmm. rather than using to, you could also use a. Which, yeah, sorry, which would also mean and, right? Ringo ya meruku. But that would insinuate a kind of nado afterwards that For perhaps example. you got apples, milk, and also strawberries. Mm -hmm. But you're only listing two items. Mm -hmm. Tidy is the exact same as ya, meaning that you're listing one verb, but you're kind of saying other things similar to the verb as well. You're not making a, this is only mm -hmm. if you're not scared scared but maybe if you're not scared maybe if you don't make any obvious mistakes she's leaving it more open so it's mm. basically like saying do things like the do here is the sudo right here the shina mm -hmm. that's um shinai right there from sudo okay this is shinai. So, hey so it says you must not do mm -hmm. things like things. being scared and contextually mm -hmm. it's meaning if you do not, if you do things, if you do not be scared, we will be able to do it. But it's like do things like being scared. Mm -hmm. um, so she just that, that that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Hi, uh, Tree. You you Hi, haven't missed much. We we were reading the first paragraph, first first line still. So what we left off, Tree, just doing a quick little refresher is that Atlanta was like Atlanta and her brother are a little bit worried. Her brother's like, oh my gosh, can we even actually do this? And Atlanta's like. Yeah, as long as you're not a fraidy cat, as long as you don't chicken out. Hi. And uh, Danny is still reading the next part. Atashi mo dakedo to omoi nagara. And so, t 
Oto Omoi Nagara is she was she, well she said the previous thing she was also I, thinking and also me exactly yes as long as I'm also not a fraidy cat perfect and the next line will go to tree Oto san no koto wa regarding the father Tom Tom no kokoro wa mo kana kanata ni a yon a tobi to 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 binde tonde ita tonde tonde ita kami kami gami kami gami no Kamigami no bun bun Close, no Miyako Miyako no bun no Mi uh Kamigami no Miyako no motoe Miyako no motoe Miyako is that a place, Mani? It means capital. It's a capital. Okay. Hi. But here it's not a real capital, right? It's the Kamigami no capital. Bun no motoe. Uh, we going we going to the place where the where the god cap the capital of the gods are. Hi hi. Um, what is going to where the capital of the gods are? Uh, Tomu no kokoro wa. I'm guessing kokoro here means intentionality, right? This no, is it's his heart. Heart. Oh, it's just the physical heart. Mm, I took it to mean like his heart. hopes or dreams or yes. He hopes. Yeah, kitai. His hopes. Tom's hope. Uh, mo mo kana tani. That's look like an adverb. Um, so there is a ni here, which does make this grammarly into an adverb. You are correct. However, in English, you would probably just word use the word to to mark this rather than adverbifying it because we don't really use it destinations as adverbs in English. Instead, we call them prepositions, I think. So to fly. Hi. Uh, flew his his intent, his his hope flew to the Kanata. Hi. I don't know that one. Kanata Mo means other side or the beyond, which is the Kamigami no Miyako no Moto. So Tom's heart has already flown off over to the other side where um, the gods reside, basically. Off to the capital of the gods. I see. I so he is very, very excited about... His hopes are idea. rising. So, so, so. And... Arana wa kubi o futta. So Alena, she shakes her head. And this next line over here will go to um, Danny. Yeah. Uh... Uh, Oto san wa at atashi tachi no koto nante uh, wasure te shimao yo. Uh, an atash, uh, atashi tachi ga ite shima shimaeba. Um, soshite tomu o mita. Okay. Um, she said, uh, father uh things related to us when it comes to our father things related to us will be forgotten um when we uh, if we leave hi um, <laughs> and then soshite tomu wo mita uh she, I, I, Mita, I would say would be to like to look at, but it does mean to look at, yes, that's always what Mita means. Um, sometimes you are taught it means to see, but that to see is more like Mita, right? Mita is always has that intent to look at meaning to something. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just we don't necessarily use the word to look at all that often in English, but it, it always says, I move my eyes to this, that's why it takes the particle O. Um, so she just looked at her brother and said exactly. these things. Yeah, which is kind of funny. I wonder where she was looking at before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she was daydreaming out the window. Um, 
本当に心の底から魔法使いになりたいって思ってるアナは聞いた。So Anna, she asks her brother, Do you really, really want to actually become a magician from the very bottom of your heart? And this next line, two lines here, will go to、um, Tree. Utari tomo. The both of them. Kore kara. Nan nen mo. Benkyo to. Shigoto. O. Shinaku chinara nai. Nda yo. Yari nuku. Okay, so the first,、uh, the first sentence is that the both of them from then on, from here on, how many more years of learning? Good grass. Nan nen does have the word what. And year. However, when you ask a question into English, our crest information is adding a, the question word to the beginning of the sentence, right? How many years rather than the five years, how years? We can't really say that. You have to do that question formation. The sentence here in English does not end with a question mark, and thus this is not a question. We do not have a question here. So because of that, you have to like, look for something else. There is a mo here. Hmm. Do you know what happens when we have a question word and we add a mo to it? I don't. A number of years. It is a undisclosed number of years. So, this is.、Um, so, the thing that I heard, I heard someone said I don't. So, I'm just going to talk about even more of that. Do you know what doko means? Yeah. Where? If you add a、Where? mo, that doko mo, that means、um, nowhere or everywhere. So, doko. Something you'll normally add a ni in there. So, doko ni mo、um, inai means nowhere. It is a location that is undefined as not, not a place that exists. And doko ni mo iru means it's everywhere. The undefined location is all the locations. So,、um, it's, it's, a, it's a some type of thing to do. Doko mo.、Uh, so、same as like dare mo. Dare mo.、Mm. means everyone or no one. So here it's like nan nen mo basically means a whole bunch of years. Nan nen mo. So in English, we probably would say se like several years. We don't really have the some large amount of years. Because it's not like every year, like every single year. It's just like all the following years, basically, she's saying. She's basically saying from now on until we grow old and gray, is basically what she's saying with nan nen mo. <laughs> So, yeah, it's, it's an interesting thing for that. So, yeah, for all the years that come forth, what will they have to do? That's the shinakya naranain right there. That's the same as the shinakya naranain. That's the must. That's the the must. Time. We must, benkyo, to shigoto, must study and work. Exactly. Yarinuku kakago ga aru? Yarinuku kakago. Koku is. To memorize, to learn go is like. Probably, but kaku go is its own word, right? You, you, you can't really like fully guess nouns when you're combining two things together. Like they're going to be related, so you can go backwards once you know the word, but you can't really create the word going forward. It's not like compound words because it's, it's, it's its own vocab word, right? Yari nuku, you could try to do that, right? That's a compound form of yaru to do and nuku to go through. Yari nuku means to bring something to completion. So you're doing it till you go through some kind of metaphorical task, right? But kakugo is actually like a word, it's not really a compound word. So it means、um, to resolve oneself. Resolve oneself. Oh, are, have you, have you, are you fully determined? That's what she's I, asking in a way. That is、you、what she's saying. Are you fully determined?、So、we're going to be doing this for the rest of our lives. Do you have. The determination to follow this through. And、um, this whole paragraph here is going to go to Danny. Tomu wa chiuniku ni shiwa o nobashita. 
Tom, uh, the wrinkles in Tom, it, the wrinkles in his tunic, Tom straightened them. Hi. Uh, sono hiwa hiyaka data. Hi. Uh, he has one line, three lines are meh. Oh, psh. as I read it, I was like, that can't be right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, his eyes were chilly. Um Wakata, I know. Haji Hajime yo. Let's go. Perfect. Let's start. And Chris, I'm sorry, tree. <laughs> Next slide for you. Chris A hey. this cloud. Uh Arana wa Unazuita. Arana nodded. Uh Mazu. Mazu is first. Hi. Mazu modo o. Uh, something about searching. It is. Sagasu. Hi. Sagaso. Uh, first, let's search for the mode. Perfect. Hi, hi, hi. Mode. Modo person. is a name of somebody. I agree. It is a really weird name. When I was first reading this, I was like, who did it? What the heck is Modo? And I was like, oh, yeah, that was a character. I haven't seen. Hi. You don't really see ever again, right? After the first book. It's been, it's been so long. I also was really confused about Conrado. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's who that was. <laughs> it's hard to remember people's names. Uh, so, yeah, we have a little time skip. Next run, next line, just the one line, is going to go to Danny. Muran, Murano Chiryoshi Mado wa um, Nanimo. Iwas, Iwazu ni futari no hanashi o kita. Um, so, in answer to the twins' speech, um, the village healer, Maud, uh, said nothing. Hi, hi, hi. Perfect. Alana no hanashi ga owari to. So once Alana's story um, ended, um, she turns her direction, probably toward them or something. Oh, she turns her direction and for a long time she stares right out outside the door. Um, it can't be a wadu though, because it's o and wadu is outside of that. Is this oru? Is that shimai? What is that kanji? <laughs> it's like very ugly, whatever that is. It means the end though, so we'll, we'll say it's a wadu even though it's definitely not for, for now. Uh, next line will go to tree. Kara yoyaku. Futago ni. Mukinawata. What is Mukinawata? Um, Mukinausu? Muki comes from the verb mukau, uh, muku, sorry, but mukau is the same kanji, which is the same muki we saw over here. So we got two mukis, same thing. The kanji is this, muku, muku. which you have seen in um, the magic tree, I mean, the circle of magic, right? From Mukao. Do you know what Mukao means? That's what we normally see in the book Mukao. we read together, Tree. Ooh, is to turn towards. Hi, so that's the same thing here. Difference is just like whether or not like O oh, or whatever. So Mukinausu means to nausu the verb, which means to redo it, to uh, do it when it was in the wrong direction and now it's going to be in the right direction. So first she turns toward the door. Now she's resetting her direction back where it probably should have been, which is toward the futago. Hi. So turn back at Hi. the twins. Uh, sore kara yo yaku. Having done that, or after Hi. doing. Do you know what yo yaku means? Mm -mm. No. Hi. So yo yaku means like finally, but it doesn't really insinuate like time or anything. It kind of just means that this 
action right here was like the goal action basically and what she was doing before was not the goal action so we so once this happens something new kind of gets to happen it's kind of the idea so finally it tends to be the best word to use and here we already know it was a while because of like the jitto mitsumeta kind of gives us a and then nagai koto is what tells us it's been a, far, a long time but this doesn't actually yoyaku doesn't actually have a time period with it it just is referring to what the vibes of finally is and Wait, funnily what? enough this is owadu apparently the w can just be thrown away sometimes <laughs> i had no idea i was like I was honey like, so yoyaku yeah. is the intentionality that you were distracted towards something else away from your no, original not goal. necessarily it just means you've reached a a milestone i guess <laughs> like let's say you have a bunch of steps you have to complete you could do what you what you said like in this context do something else and then hit there that is totally fine that would be a good use of it but it could just be you could go straight there you could not pause at all and go straight to the next step and you could still use yoyaku it's it's just it's referring to some kind of step has been achieved basically so something like that um so finally tends to be the idea i finally reached the next floor so you could have went straight there with no delay and you can still use yoyaku or you could have took in five months to get there and you could use yoyaku. It doesn't really matter because it doesn't actually have a time insinuation in it. Um, in general, it's probably going to be a longer time. It's probably more likely you did something out of the way before you did it, but it doesn't actually insinuate that, which the word finally in English does have a slight insinuation of a longer time, right? It's kind of like tatsu, right? Tatsu, we normally translate it as to stand, but in Japanese, it does not have the still insinuation. It only, be yeah. What, what's up, Danny? Uh, I was gonna say, maybe instead of finally, fin, which I think is Italian or French, makes more sense. Like, you could have a short film that's like five minutes long and then say mm -hmm. fin at the end. And you're like, I've reached the end of this thing. But you could also Good. have like a two hour movie and then say fin at the end and you've reached the same point, but it's not yeah. like, it, it doesn't add that time complexity of finally. Hi, hi, exactly. But we don't really use fin in English no. all that much. So from there, <laughs> fin. Fin. <laughs> <laughs> then fin. But yeah, it's exactly, it's just like that. It's just, it, it basically, it just, uh, you, you can use finally, it's fine. I'm just saying don't be obsessed with the timeness for it. So it, it could be right after. Time is insinuated by other things, which here is the nagai koto. Is like it's not really so fine. Yeah, it's, it is it is complicated because we don't really have a direct word. I think we do. If I like Google up yoyaku, I think they might give you one that's like not not bad. Um, like in the end, I guess yoyaku. At last, <laughs> but I feel like both of those in English have like a time insinuation. Um, but yeah, same, same kind of idea. Uh, next line, we'll go to Danny. Oh, okay. Futari ni, ni wa shiri yoshimo na nakata ga modo wa... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the first one. Shitari ni wa shiru yoshimo nakata ga So... The, they both know. Hi, so sh uh, sh sh Shiru Yoshimo no Kata does officially have like a meaning in the dictionary. So it's probably like an idiom or something. And it means to have no way of knowing. Mm. Okay, so they both have no way of knowing. Modu wa komari wa komari Komari, hi. Komari. Hate hate te ita. Uh, uh, it's mod did something. <laughs> right. Do you know what komaru means? Komaru yo. No. no. Komaru means to be troubled. Or like distressed. Yes, to be distressed. The hate do doesn't really matter. It means like to bring to like an, an, an end or like accomplishment tends to be like the meaning of the word. Um, but so here it means to be completely like 100% troubled, like totes troubled. 
but it doesn't really <laughs> change the meaning by all that much. Um, next line will go to tree. Yeah, actually, I have a quick question. Hi, hi. There's, hi, hi. there's several instances in this book where like, I feel like they put the same concept together twice to like, yes, make it like extra. That's true for all books in Japanese. So when you're learning in a class, you're never really going to be seeing these compound words. But if you're yeah. reading any kind of novel, they're all going to have compound words where they're going to double up two verbs. It's mm -hmm. relatively rare to see a verb on its own unless it's like an action verb, like kiku can mm -hmm. be seen on its own relatively often. But I would say like half the time you're going to see a verb that is not one of the top like 10 verbs like kiku, iku, omo, mm -hmm. like mukao, tsuku. Those, those are the verbs that like don't tend to do it. But basically every other verb that is like less common is almost always going to have a second verb with it to help give it more feeling to the sentence because mm -hmm. people don't really say the most basic sentence possible we like to add flavor especially in like a novel or something like that to just kind of make things have cooler vibes that was my next question like do people talk like this or is this entirely i don't know a i don't talk to a lot of people uh you have to, you have to find someone else to ask <laughs> okay so, um, sadly my, it... my, i'm mostly the anime and uh <laughs> so Fair whatever enough. I say will be skewed. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so this is one of those where it's like to be distressed and to be troubled and put together has a compound meaning probably an idiom of to have no idea because they're so distressed and so troubled they're just like completely overwhelmed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. The completely part is the hateru that actually does kind of mean complete, like to to bring to an end, right? Mm -hmm. So it, it it so it's the same as anything. To be completely at a loss, we do the same thing in English, right? We don't say she was at a loss. That's less dramatic. She was completely at a loss. Mm -hmm. Um it's is so it's it hot that it just has that completeness feeling for it. Um the rule with these, in case you're curious, is that the first verb is the most important one. The second mm -hmm. one is there for flavor. So as long as you know what the first verb means the komaru, you basically know what it's going to mean, unless it's specifically an idiom, which does sometimes exist. There's like 10% maybe will have idioms. But in general, like right over here in the next sentence that Tree is going to read, we have oshie tsuku, exact same thing as um, komari hateru. We just got oshiru, which means to teach, and tsuku, which means to attach. The most important information is the oshiru part, the teaching. And we're just adding tuku to mean to attack that teaching to just be a little bit weird <laughs> to to teach to basically it, it has more of a to um bestow knowledge type of feeling than just to be teaching which mm -hmm. might not have that obvious they learned it so you can kind of say the tuku feels like the students did actually learn what the teacher taught right because mm. the teaching stuck on to the kid, because that's what tsuka means, to stick on. Mm. So as long as you know the first one, you're you're pretty much set for any of those kind of verbs. <laughs> but it can be good to double check by Googling them. Hi. Uh, but then now, Tree, now your turn. Hi. Jibun de shite iru. Kagiri no maho no. Waza wa Wazawa ni Oshietsukusteita Um by oneself Shite knowing Kagiri no Maho no Wazawa The tech the magical technique of uh, kagiri, which is what is kagiri? Uh, kagiri means to be limited to, so it's jibun no shiteru kagiri. To be limited to one's own knowledge. Hi, in this case, mode's knowledge. So to the limit that all mode knows. Sorry, I just want to say that to, it's not tsuku, tsukusu, which means to exhaust. Tsukusu, to exhaust. Hi. Just, just want to stick that up in case that um, gets gets weird later on. To the limit of of my of his knowledge of magical techniques. Hi. 
um, he imparted to the twins. He 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 transmitted to the to the twin basically. He teaches Hi, them. does he have anything else that he could teach the twins? Nothing more. He's he gave Hi. them everything he knew. <laughs> so that's actually what it's here. It's not tuka, it's tukusu. So sorry about that, which is too exhaust. So it's he taught the kids and there's nothing else to teach because tuka means it it's gone. There's there's nothing left. You, you exhausted all teaching there. But yes, yeah, so, same kind of idea of the tsukusu, the most important is taught. He's taught the children, but this lineage no, he got nothing else to teach them. So if you said just took on its own, we don't really have a lot of meeting here. He's exhausted the kids. Oh, she, she, yes. she. That is true. Modo is a woman, um, which I think hasn't actually been mentioned yet. I think it just said like, like it's spoilers, I guess. <laughs> uh, spo spoilers, but you're right. Uh, Modo is, is a woman. <laughs> the gender has been spoiled. <laughs> patterns in any way. I wonder if there'll be like any like obvious things about Moldo being female in here or it's just like like they haven't talked yet or anything like they're a medic so that might make people like when you hear a doctor you might think of them. I was gonna say in in the English book she's a healer or like a mm -hmm. hedge witch or head something witch. Like which gets the female idea across a little easier. Really, really fast versus the Japanese, which is Chiroshi, which is a master of magical, sorry, a, ma a master of healing. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like that's not fully gender. But in general, people tend to feel like the more village healers tend to be female. I don't know. But yeah, that's, that's true. Modo is a girl. Um, this, is, this is because we got two babysitters. Just as like a reference, we have one babysitter is a woman who's supposed to babysit the girl, basically, and one babysitter is a boy who's supposed a man who's supposed to ba babysit Tom, right? So that's Comrado is Tom's like babysitter, and Modo is theoretically Alana's babysitter. Um, not anymore because they're gonna switch places, but that's like the idea behind it. <laughs> so next line is for Denny. Yeah, I got lost. Uh, okay. Futari ni wa moto yuro yuro manabu chikara ga aru aru no ni. Um, there was Oops. Futari, futari ni wa, so related to them both, moto yuro yuro. Um, Manabu Chikara, anybody who has the ability to teach various things. Mm, um, right, Adu. Let's, let's talk about what Adu means. That is to exist, but it can yeah. also be translated as to have. The one who has something, we don't mm. see it a lot. This book does have it more common than other books, but normally this will be like a relative clause. It would be, um, Moto iro no manabu chikara ga aru futari, something like that, it would be more commonly seen. Um, so because of that, you don't normally think about what particle the one who has this has the item would have. It would be ni, futari ni is uh, the, the adverb, the, the one who has the um, chikara. So the two have power. What kind of ability, what power do they have? They have the mana. Manabu to study. Hi, they have the, more the capability power to, be able to learn. To, exactly, they have the capability to learn more things. Basically, more, a bunch of more various things. No need, even though, even though, even though they have the capa capacity to learn more various things. Hi, Trebondo Rio Niwa, uh, Hokani. Oshie Rareru Shaga Inai, the Trebond prefecture or province doesn't have such a person that can teach them. Hi, hi, hi. perfect. Um, Tomo wa maho no koto nara nan demo shiri tagatta ga um, ningen fushinda. So, Tom. He wants to um, learn anything he can about magic. If he can learn it, he's like, yes, let me learn it. 
However, he is not a people person. He has a deep distress of other human beings for some reason. Um, next line goes to Tree. Uh, real fast, it's Hi. the Mahonokoto Nara Randemo. Is that Nara Demo? Is it, that what we no. were talking about last week? That's like yes. various things, but like slightly negative. Um, it is close to that. Um, non demo is kind of its own thing. If it just said nante, if a t, um, oh, that would be t. it. But non de de marks tool, the tool, um, mm -hmm. and mo means even, which is adding a stress to the toolness of this. So it says no matter what tool is what it's basically saying. So it mm. means he would do anything. Non demo. Nada, nan demo shiritai, which in this case is just means he wants to learn whatever it is he could learn. But normally, mm -hmm. nan demo means like he could do anything for this. It doesn't matter what mm -hmm. it is. But this context, it's more of the maho koto, like no matter what the magic thing is. So it does need a little bit of the context. But you're right, it does look similar. It just that would be te form, nan te. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Hi, hi. Uh, tree. Hi. あ、because I think there is a um koto that I can receive the teaching uh easily. Um is that it? verbal teachings? Um it's just so she do in general teachings, but the thing that's wrong here is the tan. Part. I'm just gonna. I was waiting for for Tree to do this whole thing. The tan mm -hmm. here is the moteru part. He simply thinks is what it says. He thinks that there exists things that he could receive. He could get some teachings still. So it says. So he is the subject here, and the he is Tom. So Tom still thinks that he could learn something from modo, which is why he modo no yu koto kiku. That is why he does that. Well why he listens to her yes that's exactly what it says so the reason why tom listens to what modo says is because he thinks he simply thinks oh well i guess i could learn something from her so basically he wants to be on her good side to learn more magic that's that's the only reason why he pays modo any attention because he is ningen fujin he doesn't really like people he's he's like a wild animal <laughs> Uh, but so because of that, we, we skipped out on Tree doing it. This is a really long one. I think I'm just going to do this one. And then it will be Tree after that. Um, Futago no mendo o miteru no wa futari shika ina inai ga mo hitori no koramu no koto wa kirai te ita. Koramu ni wa jibun ga baka mitai na ki ni sase rare ru kara. Um... So the ones who watch over, like the one who are babysitting, who tr are troubled with watching over the children, um, it um, is only two people. Um, the other person who's not Modo is Koramu, and he um, hates Koramu, <laughs> which is Tom hates Koramu, like absolutely hates him. Um, and he, um, and the reason why he hates Koramu is that um, he feels like Kuramu makes Tom look like an idiot, I think it means. Kira sase he, 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 yeah, I think it's saying he makes it that, Tomu makes it that he, Tom, is like seen as an idiot, I guess, which seems weird, but I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> Check check your English book at some point. The, the English book is it makes him feel stupid. It makes Koramu or Tomu? Tom, Tom feels 
Tom feels like Coram makes him feel stupid. Yes, I was right. <laughs> well, Coram is the third. Is the third yes. person. It's not the two. That, that is a yes. That is the second babysitter who has not really been introduced. This is the kind of like introducing him by other people talking about him. So that is the male babysitter. So Tom does not like the male babysitter. And he kind of likes the female maid babysitter only because he thinks the female babysitter might teach him magic and he thinks magic is awesome. Hi. Hi. So now it is your turn, Tree. Sekai Naka de Tomuga Aisteru Noa Jibunji Shin O Nozo Keba Arana Dakeda What's this no right here? Uh, normalize pronoun no pronoun, pronoun no. no yes it's always pronoun uh, no but sometimes it's caught as normalizing no because sometimes it sounds better in english that way hi so the 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 loving oh, tom, tom, ga tom, tom aisteru so tom is right. doing the aisteru yes um, tom loving in this world the one that Tom loves in this world. The one that Tom's love in this world is Hi. only Daketa. It's only Arana, who is the Jibun Jishi o Nozokeba. What is Nozokeba? Hi. So it's from Nozo, uh, Nozoku, which you have, not that one. Hope? Where is it? It's no koru. It's, it's no koru. I don't know why it's soku, uh, but it's no koru here. <laughs> um, this guy, which means um, except for, like to leave behind. So if you are excluding, uh, jibun jishin is what it's saying. Nozokeba is if ah, I found the kanji. To Nozoku. It's this guy. This guy. Excluding. <laughs> Hi. Excluding jibun, part of myself. Hi. Um, jibun is oneself, and jishin is oneself as well. He's basically saying him himself. Except Do you know what this ba is telling us? Is the is the conditional form of the verb it no is. Um. Yeah. It is conditional. When excluding if slash myself. When. Hi. When excluding myself, the only person that I lo love in this world is um, Arana. Hi. Yep. The only person he himself uh, loves other than he himself is Alana. Perfect. And next line goes to Denny. Morua Orana no koto o omote tame iki o tsuita. Um, mod, uh, things related to Alana, uh, make mod when she thinks about Alana and things related to her, then she sighs. Hi, in this context, it's not really it, just so you know, it's it's just refer referring what she's doing right now. So, right now, Moldo is thinking about Tom, and now she's changing her thought to think about Alana, and then she sighs. So, it's not Tame, mm -hmm. it's Tame Iki, which is to. Which is sai. Uh, mm. I, I just, so she does that and then does that. Or basically she does it at the same time. But I'm just saying it's not a when slash if. It's just it's, she did this item and then she is mm -hmm. going to do the next item. Mm -hmm. um, so this girl, she is the exact opposite of her brother. And next line goes to tree. Arana wa jibun no marioku o. It was kowa is to break something. No, uh, you're right. Kowadu is to break something. Kowadu. Uh, mm, ko, kowa. It's, it's similar. This is um, 
<laughs> this is to be scared. It's kowareta. That's that's just a break right there to that kanji. So that is kowareru, I guess. Um, but here it's kowaga, kowagaru, which is to be frightened from kowai. Kowagaru, kowagatte da. Um, Arana was frightened uh, at the magical power of herself. Perfect. She was frightened of her own magical power. Hi. Tomo wa meirei de mo sare na kereba ryo ni ikoto shinai no ni arana tokitara dama shitari tanomi kondari demo shinai to maho o kaketari shinai. So, um, Tomo, if even, um, he he will not go on a hunting trip unless somebody like orders him to do it. And Alana though, she she's totally different than him. She um does not want to learn magic and she will do things like begging and playing tricks and stuff trying to trick you in order to get out of doing magic. She does not want to um do something like casting any magic spells. Um and next line goes to Danny. Modo wa dare ka hoka no hito ga kono futago no sewa o kawate hiki ukete kureru jitsu o machi wa bite ita. Oh, Lordy. Okay. Uh, mod, uh, mod, dare ka is, like, who or s someone? Someone, yes. Someone. Um, hoka no hito, some other person, ga kono futago no sewa. So, like, the assist assistance with the twins. Basically, I would translate sewa as like babysitting. Hmm. It's not really helping her with the twins. Mm. It's just taking the twins and babysitting them. <laughs> it's the specifically uh, it's a take care of is what sewa means. Mm -hmm. So, some so they were looking for some other person to look after a, the twins. Kawate. Like a change where somebody else looks after the twins. Yes, she wants a, her job to be taken away. She's like, please switch places with me and take on the job of babysitting these twins. Someone, please. Mm -hmm. I am waiting in <laughs> wabishi and in agony for this. So yeah, yeah Machi Wabishi. Much more than we're waiting for that day when that yeah. happens. But yeah, here's another compound verb with the most important part. Matsu, to wait, with wabi teiru, letting you know what kind of waiting. She's waiting eagerly, but here she's actually waiting and like, uh -huh, I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> wabi teiru kind of means like, I feel like wretched, kind of. Kind of something like that kind of feeling. So that's a little fun little word. Um, ba -ba -ba. Next line goes to tree. Wait, ima. Kamigami wa saigo ni nido futago o sukate jibu o tame shite orare ru yoda. Orare ru yoda. As like looking like orare ru. Uh, oh, oh, this is the same as iru, so irareru. Yoda. It's just randomly Yoda. doing old jackals. It's 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 because we're talking about kami 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 kami. So uh, that's why it's oru rather than iru, because because we're talking about gods, and we're in Lord's brain. What is the function of Yoda again? The, the, the oh. appearance um, of 
Duh. It seems like, basically. It's I don't know how to translate like... that. That's not the right word. <laughs> so, something like that. You can basically ignore the yo for now. Ima, Kamigame wa saigo ni ichido futaga o tsukatte jibun no tameshite irareru yo. Yeah, it, it seems like it's a great way to translate in this context. It seems like the kamis are doing what? It seems like the gods, um, uh, Saigo ni is like finally at the very end. Oh, uh, no, Ichido, not Saigo. Ichido. Uh, one, one degree, one, Hi. one step. Um, so you're right that do is a degree word. Do you know what tabi means? Like tabi ni? Uh, the ni. Yeah. Each time. Each time, yeah. So now we're talking about one time. In this context, you can translate it as one more time. But the saigo ni meaning the very last time. Yes. Mm -hmm. One last time. One last time. The gods for one last time futago o skatte jibun o tameshi. That is not tameshi as in the soul. It is tameshi. Time. What do you say? Like, tameshi, the soul. Mm -hmm. Soul? The oh, spirit? no, not soul. This is um, to to test. Tamashi is soul. Tamashi. Tamashi is soul. Tameshi is to test oneself. Hi. But there's the word sukatte in front of jibuno tameshi. Yeah. So to um, use and to test. Using the twins to test. Yep, using that her. is what it means. Hi. Using the so twins to test. Right now, it seems like the gods are using the twins to test myself one more time. Hi. That's what Modo thinks <laughs> from this whole situation. She's like, ugh. <laughs> Please take these kids away from me. I am not paid enough for this. Gods, are you testing me? Are you testing me right now? So that's what she thinks. But yeah, all that I do is here just for politeness because she's thinking about the gods in this context. They're testing me. Um, Moldo wa kubi o futa. So Mold shakes her head and then she says the next line, which is konna koto wa hitori de wa. Which he says, I cannot make this decision all on my own. And the last part of this page is going to go to da uh, Danny. Tameshite mina ke ria na ru mayo. I'll be honest, I got none of that. Uh, he, he or ka? Uh, uh, he. he. He no nakade. Sakimiyo. I have to look in the okay. fire. Yes. Uh, what does the saki part mean? Uh, it was like before, before yeah. things. So it's like I have to foresight. Yeah. 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 Like. Hi. So, what does tameshi miru mean? Tameshi miru. I, I don't know. How about Tamashi? Miru. <laughs> okay, Trini, no, do you know what Tamashi meant? Uh, right over Hi, there. Tamashi is to test. Mitai yes. or Miru is to no, try to test. Not to try to test, yes. I mean, so this is try to, to try test. to test. The reason why it's na here is because it's from nai, so minai, which is negative form, and then kidya. Which is the third time for today we have seen nakereba naranai being slurred in some kind of way. First time on this page, I think. But we saw it on the last I page must. a couple of times. So I must do that. But here it doesn't say nakereba naranai. Um, it's this nakereba. Oops, I clicked the wrong thing. This nakereba was shortened into nakya. Right? Nakya. Nakereba. Sounds similar. Not a nai was not shortened and instead to replace with with naru mai. The difference between naru nai, nara nai, and naru mai is that naru mai is oldie. It is there because Moldo talks weirdly. <laughs> it's, it's how an old, wise, 
person in an anime would talk. That is Narumai. The mai here means like shall not is what she says. So rather than saying it will not become if you do not do it, it says it shall not happen if one does not do it. That's that's mm -hmm. the only difference. So you will see my in anime and stuff with an old person just saying not in a shall not kind of way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So and then it's the same naru though. To become not a nai, to not become. So yeah. So basically nai can turn into my if you want the sound like shall. Thou out, thou shall not pass. I yeah. <laughs> totally makes sense why it's hard. But yeah. The nakere nakedya is always hard because right over here we saw it right here. Na, nakedya. Mm -hmm. And we also saw Tom say it. So I guess that one might be more feminine because Tom says the same thing but a little bit longer in one of his talking. Nakereba naranai. But not the whole thing. It was somewhat. Uh, 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 no, not the word. Oh, right here. Nari, no, it's not that one. Where is I know we saw it today. Oh, shinakucha naranai, right there. <laughs> that is the same thing. So yeah, shinakucha naranai is the same as nakya. Or in nakya narumai. Oh, all the same stuff. So yeah, I don't really know what makes you do one slurring versus the other. This one also has slurring, right, from cha. But that's still that not a nine will not become if you do not do that. Yeah. Uh, any other questions before we go? Nope. That was a hard reading for me. So thank you for holding everybody here for making me hold myself accountable <laughs> to read through. I think, I think it's the fun way of doing it. But make sure you have to understand everything. <laughs> 